So here is my drill press with my newly upgraded three phase motor. And there I have my variable freak drive. And you can see it's been mounted to the back of the frame. And what I have here, this is the optional upgrade. Um, actually, this is the option for reverse. This is a tachometer that I installed. And the tachometer itself is ran off of this little proximity switch or sensor. Um, and it's kind of hard to see, but right there it is. It is just a simple little rare earth magnet. When it comes in contact with it, it's what triggers the tech. So to start this up, just a simple power that up. And you can see there that our tachometer turns on. I just used a, hundred, a little 110 positive or common relay output inside to uh, power just a simple little nine volt uh, AC to DC adapter, just, you know, a simple little phone charger or something, anything that puts out at least around um, eight volts and 200 milliamps would be sufficient. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to Fire that up. So now our variable freak drive is on and put it into forward and you can see as we move that forward and it starts counting up our RPM. So um, what I have done, you can see here, I've removed the center pulley on the system and I found just a basic you know, general setting. I do need to tension that a little bit, but um, for now, yeah, this will work for the demonstration. But, so you can see there, and then just by giving it a little bump up, and with that freak drive, you can adjust your acceleration as well as your deceleration. Uh, you can pick uh, 60 hertz or 50 hertz if you want to double the motor speed. Um, for this purposes, I think the 1800 RPMs is good, but uh, you can see, so right there, I'm about a half setting. It's 532 on the RPMs. I'm gonna take that all the way up. And so on this pulley setting, we're at uh, 1130, you can see now. You know, feature that you don't want to use for drilling, um, but right here we have a we have a stop and a reverse. But if we simply hit that, I'm going to put it in reverse. So now we're going to decel, and we're going to go right up and into reverse. So about the only time you would use that is if uh, you were tapping out, you know, some kind of metal and you had a tap bit on here. So obviously, if you were tapping out metal, you can run that in forward, you know, get that down. Yeah, you hear a little bit of those belts vibrating up there without that tension, but you can see we're getting down there into that 80 range, nice and tight there. So if you were tapping down, and you get halfway down, you just hit that, and it would back right out. And, so, but, and then in a case of emergency, you just, and your power's off. Oh, that's my variable freak drive on my Grizzly drill.